The Halo community has always been extremely talented, whether it's playing the actual games themselves and having skill, using the Forge mode, or even as far as making their own fan-made games. Today, we are taking a look at three current, in-progress Halo fan-made projects. As before Season 3 released, there wasn't a whole lot to do in Halo Infinite, so I actually started playing a few of these myself. Number one on this list is Project Contingency. I made a video on this a few weeks ago. This is essentially Halo in Unreal Engine. It is actually playable now. You can play their alpha builds whenever you want. All you have to do is join their Discord, download their launcher, and you can launch the game whenever you please. All you have to do to find a game is just ask in their Discord, in the LFG channel, if anybody wants to play, and then you can make a private match between you. Currently, the matchmaking side of things isn't implemented, but I'm sure they'll get there eventually. Continuously has several maps, such as remakes of classic Halo maps such as Valhalla and Guardian, with a few blockouts of Continuously development team's own maps as well. And of course, the rest of the sandbox is very familiar to Halo fans with all the usual weapons, such as your assault rifles, battle rifles, pistols, gravity hammers, energy swords, shotgun sniper, beam rifle, carbine, all that you would expect from a Halo game that is reminiscent of the Halo 3 slash 4 era. Those who like classic Halo will be happy to hear that Continuously does not have sprint and instead it adopts the equipment method of Halo 3 where you pick up things like a bubble shield, a gravity lift or a health regen. The game does have several modes such as Team Slayer, Free For All, Fiesta, Capture the Flag, King of the Hill and some decent player customization for an alpha stage of a game. You can change between I think three uh, types of helmet, shoulders, knee pads, um, arms, torso and change your emblem as well. In terms of performance I don't think the optimization is really there yet. Obviously with an alpha stage of a game that's not expected. You may need like a 6 gigabyte GPU and above to run this at 60 FPS plus. Um, so just bear in mind if you are using a machine that's like on a 4 gigabyte card you're probably not going to get the best performance on this but anything above that should be playable. Next on the list is another game that I did a video on recently called Project Onyx. I hopped into their latest QA test again had so much fun. It's basically like a Halo 4, Halo 5 style game. It has sprint, it has the armor abilities like the um, grapple hooking and the um, sprinting. It has the sentry turret thing from Halo 4. Um, it has some health regeneration stuff and some shield stuff. A double jump, a speed boost, like a thruster. It's, it's very Halo 4 slash 5. Maybe bits of infinite in there as well. Um, but the difference with this game is that it's its own IP, it just takes influence from Halo and bits of Titanfall as well. At this stage, again, this game is in alpha and the graphical side is not um, there yet, it's very much um, primitive. But the mechanics of the game is actually like really far progressed, it's so much fun to play. Even though graphically it's not there, you still have so much fun playing this because the mechanics are just so well worked on and the game plays so well. The game modes are all there, there's several different maps to play on, tons of weapons in the sandbox as well. And uh, in my previous video I described it as pretty much like getting the chance to play a Halo game before it releases. It really feels like you've been slotted into like 343 Industries headquarters and just like being told to alpha test this upcoming idea that they have. Um, so it's it's really cool. Again, it has all the gamers you'd expect, plus a couple new ones. It has Infection, which Infinite currently does not, so there's a plus one for Project Onyx. And then obviously Capture the Flag, King of the Hill, Domination, Fiesta, um, Team Slayer, Team Snipers, all the good stuff like that. Project Onyx is not publicly available yet. The only way to play is to join their Discord server and register as a tester. Um, which is fairly easy to do. You just join the Discord, fill out an application form, and um, the lead on it, Captain Cake, is always looking for new testers. So I'm sure you'll get in if you um, apply to be a tester and you genuinely want to help the game progress. If you're just looking to join so that you can play and have fun and mess around, probably not. There are some rules, such as when he calls a ceasefire, you have to ceasefire and actually test what's going on, find bugs, things like that, report them. But you can still have fun while you're doing it, and I suspect maybe he'll do a, a play test on Steam or something later in the year. The final game today is made by myself and a team of individuals. It's called Cross Planet. I also have videos of this game on the channel, and the previous one actually did really well. I think we got like 2,500 views in the previous video. This is again our own IP inspired by Halo, but the idea with this is what would Halo be like if it did his original plan of being a third person shooter rather than an FPS? 
For those who don't know, Halo was originally supposed to be third person and on the Macintosh. Now, don't worry, this isn't a Macintosh game. We are releasing on Windows PC and hopefully console if we can as well. And um, yeah, again, it's, it's a third person Halo style game with very similar guns. Um, some similar mechanics, but again, we have a double jump rather than um, normal jumping or jetpacks. We have the grapple hook, a shield, cloaking, and the game modes you'd expect. We have um, Team Slayer, Team Snipers, Shotty Snipers, Fiesta. There's a bobblehead mode. There's a brawler mode where you just punch each other. Um, we're currently working on a, um, a hill style mode and capture the flag as well. I think we've got seven maps which are all fully arted out. You've got different environments such as um, a map called Ravine which is like a, a forest environment with a big sun glare coming down. Two bases either side very reminiscent of a blood gulch. Um, and then you've got a map which is very icy and snowy inspired by something like High Ground. You've also got maps such as Temple which are actually remakes of Halo maps. Um, Temple is our remake of Sanctuary using like ancient um, Egyptian temple assets which is why it's called Temple. And a couple of the unique ones such as Pipeline which is like an industrial power plant kind of theme. We've been working on Cross Planet for two years and we're hoping to get the game finished maybe in the next 12 months. Um, so we're, we're quite far progressed. Um, we have, as I said, 7 or 8 maps, uh, maybe 10 to 15 game modes, tons of armor customization to choose from, there's so many different skins on the, the armors and the weapons, um, so many different characters to choose from now, and uh, we get great reception when we go to events here in the UK, we go to an event called Insomnia Gaming Festival twice a year, and we have hundreds if not thousands of people that see the game um, and enjoy it, they sit down and play it, and a lot of people want to come back and play again. Um, because there's just so much stuff to do in that game now and also we have a PvE mode. We haven't worked on it for quite some time but we have an idea of doing PvE stuff. Um, very similar to like a firefight or a Gears of War horde mode, COD Zombies, something like that. So that, when it's completed, should also be so much fun and tons of extra content for the game. Again, Crossplant is also not publicly available, so you can't just download and play whenever. But we QA test basically every weekend, maybe every two weekends. So if you want to join us and help out, similar to um, what I mentioned with Project Onyx, you can just join our Discord, ask to be a QA tester and help out. Um, and we also have a Steam playtest coming up in a month. As of recording this, there's no official date, but I can tell you that it will be in April. So keep a lookout. If you want to play from your own home, on your own PC or laptop, then April will be the month to do so. Um, and you can join in and, you know, help us um, playtest the game, uh, have some fun. And uh, there might be some cool rewards as well, such as um, in-game skins um, for people who complete certain challenges and things like that. We're also completely fine with people streaming or recording the game, so if you're a content creator or a streamer yourself, um, then feel free to do that. So yeah, those are three Halo fan or inspired games that are currently being worked on. Another game which I almost included in the list, however, upon researching for this video, I found I think I stopped development, is Installation Zero One. They haven't put out an update for like half a year, and their developer website, Soon Studios, um, says in their blurb, you may know us from Installation Zero One. Uh, we hope you will follow us into whatever um, we do next, which makes me think like they are now working on their own IP as well. So maybe a future update to this kind of video could be whatever they work on. So yeah, um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe for more and uh, check out the games that I mentioned today. Um, and yeah, hope I see you in my next video. Bye.